BABIP, or batting average on balls in play, is a player's batting average excluding home runs and strikeouts and counting sacrifice flies as outs. Basically it is a player's batting average for when a ball is hit in the grass or clay or in play. A player's BABIP is determined by three main factors, one, defense, two, talent, and three, luck or random variation. The first factor, defense, tends to even out quickly for all players. A hitter faces many different teams and different defenses, so throughout a season, good or bad defenses will eventually balance each other out until the batter has faced what is essentially a league average defense. The second factor, talent, can be different from player to player. Consider Mr. Greg Vaughn. Though his BABIP sat in the 200s, he was still a highly productive hitter, and since the majority of his production came from dongers and walks, a high BABIP would be an aberration for him. Meanwhile, Mr. Kenny Lofton produced via singles, doubles, walks, and steals, but hit homers infrequently. In order to be productive with his skill set, he needed a career BABIP in the mid-320s. Both of these players were productive despite different BABIPs because of differences in their talents, but not necessarily differences in their value. So if either Mr. Lofton or Mr. Vaughn were to have a BABIP considerably further from their usual numbers, the likely culprit would be luck or random variation. Consider the case of Mr. Jose Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez had a career BABIP of 324, but in the 2002 season, he had an astounding 404 BABIP. Was he lucky? Was he locked in? Was he special? A little bit of all those things. Mr. Hernandez could not have had a 400 BABIP without making solid contact, so he was locked in to a degree. And his career BABIP was above 300, so he had a skill for it, but at the same time, he would not have been able to beat his already high career BABIP without some astounding luck. The following season, his numbers dropped down to some of his worst, as he had a 311 BABIP, one of the lowest BABIPs of his career. Because BABIP can take sometimes more than a thousand plate appearances to stabilize, it is very difficult to determine a hitter's ability based on a single season of statistics. So the next time you see a hitter with great offensive numbers, but a high BABIP, treat him immediately to fantasy owners who don't know any better. Uh, okay. <laughs> now I am the king of fantasy.